Hello fellow puzzlers, I have another um, tutorial for logic puzzles for you. Uh, this is Rosetta, it's a strategy game from Australia. I have, I'll have the uh, two places where you can get a printable version and the actual creators of the uh, Rosetta puzzle, also known as Challenge of the Seven Roses, in the description. So let's begin. A Rosetta is made up of a center colored hexagon encircled by six white hexagons. To complete the puzzle, fill in all seven Rosettas with each number between one and seven in no particular order while also ensuring that no number is repeated in the horizontal row. Each number from one to seven is represented in the seven gray colored hexagon cells. So I'm just going to zoom this up so we have some, you can see what's going on. And what they mean was that you can't have a repeat in this, you can't have a repeat here, and you can't have a repeat in the rows. Okay, so when I first looked at this, I'm like, okay, where do you even start for this kind of thing? So uh, you, I figured out that you start, let me use the green, I like the green better, with the hexagons that have numbers. And let me make that more so you can still see the five. Okay, and five. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at is where two rosettas overlap. So in this case, the green needs uh, two, three, five, six. Two, three, Five, six, okay. And the brown needs one, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, so when the overlap, you can't put a five in these spaces from the green because since this overlaps, since this rosetta overlaps this one, this five is counted. So you can't put a five there, so that's canceled out. You can't put a three there because the row has a three in it. And from the brown, you can't, since this is overlap for these two spaces, you can't put one, seven, or four, and the three doesn't count. So you're left with two and six to go there as possibilities. Two, six, two, six. Now let's go here. Where am I? I want to circle this hexagon. Oops, too, too, too much circling. There we go. And this hexagon. Okay, and I'm going to look at this spot as, uh, to see what happens. So green needs one, two, three, six, seven. Brown needs one, two, three, four, six. So the uh, space you can't put two, three, or four because they're all included in this hexagon. And uh, let's see, from the, you can't put seven. So we're left with one and six there. Where's my blue? There's possibilities for that one. Okay. And now, if we go and look at this Rosetta, and we look at this Rosetta, oh, why do I keep drawing that? This Rosetta. And we look at this overlap, we see that green needs one, two, th no, not three, one, two, uh, four, six, seven. One, two, four, six, seven. Okay, and the brown needs one, two, three, four, five, one, six, seven. Okay, so we know that we can't put four and two in there. And because these space is going to have two and six, we can't put six or two in there. And let's see, the green, that's, so we're left with one and seven. And for the brown, you can't put six. So that's left 
one and seven being here. And then in the center of this hexagon, let me erase this and put in the center here of this hexagon, there's nothing to eliminate anything. So my possibilities are one, six, seven. Okay, now let's look at this overlap. And this, not red, brown, this overlap. Okay, so brown needs all of the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And green needs two, three, five, six, seven. Oh, no, not seven. Okay, so if we're going to be looking at this space right here, then we can see that um, you can't put four, seven. Actually, I meant to erase that seven from the green. Okay, you can't put four, seven. And we know two and six go there, so that we have two and six taken out. Uh, we can't put one because we already have it in there. See, right there. So we're left with three and five to go in that space. But we also have a three in this rosetta. Let me circle that in another purple. We also have this rosetta that affects it. So this one rosetta is being, infected, being affected by one, two, three rosettas. So that's why we can't put three in there as well. So we're left with five. Cancel out this three and two and this six. So we're left with five. So we can put five here. And so let me go back here. And since we know that two and six go here and everything else is filled out, this center one this center rosetta has to be three. Okie dokie. So now, if we look at this rosetta and this rosetta, okay, almost couldn't figure it out, and this rosetta. So we have, and we're looking at this space right here. So the green needs one, two, four, no, one, two, six, seven. One, two, six, seven. The brown needs one, two, four, six, seven. And the orange needs one, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, so we have to look at the row first. So let's look here across this row of what can be available. So we can't use one, we can't use three, and we can't use five. Okay, and then from the green box, we can't use four. From the brown box, we have three and five taken care of. And from the orange box, we only have the five. So we're left with two, six, and seven that can go there. So we found out where those overlap. So if we look at this, let's take a quick gander at this center one. We know from going across here that uh, well, let's first see what you need for this Rosetta to use that. So I'm going to circle it in green so we know we're working with this one. And we're trying to figure out what this number is. So we have green, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. We know 2 and 6 
are going to be canceled out, and the 3 is canceled out. So we have 1, 4, and 7 can go there. Anything to say different? Okay, so let's see what this overlap looks like. We're going to overlap this one. We're going to overlap this one. And we're going to overlap this one. So what we're going to be looking at is this space here that's overlapped by all three rosettas. So let's see what numbers we need. The green needs one, two, three, four, six, seven. The brown needs one, two, three. Ooh, that's not three. Three, four, six, seven. And the orange needs one, two, three, four, six. Okay, so for the space we're doing, um, five and two are canceled out. So take the two out. And we know 2 and 6 are from the brown rosetta are going to be there, so we can't use 2 or 6 there. Anything else? I'm left with 1, 3, 4. What about the 7? Seven? 7 is not canceled out. Oh, yes. 7 is canceled out because of it's in the orange rosetta, so it can't be used. So we're left with 1, 3, 4 as the possibilities. Let's see what else we can look at. Well, we can look at this Rosetta where they overlap. And then this Rosetta. Oops, I keep doing that wrong. Just over here, over here, over here, over here, and then outside. Okay, and if we look at this space, we have um, green needs one, three, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brown needs one, two, four, six, seven. And what do we know? Well, we can't use four. And one is out because it's already canceled. Okay, that's a good thing right there that we figured out. I'm going to erase this so I can make it clear. If we're looking at these two spaces right here, these three spaces right here, and we're doing the numbers for this Rosetta, you see that one cancels out all the spaces there, so there's only one place left for one. Okay, why did we say there was no one in that two six space? I just want to make sure I understand why I don't have a one up here. Okay, if I do this, this is only interacted between this one and this one. So why is that only have a two six in it? and not a one. I know I came up with some kind of uh, information for that. 